everyone! It's me, Rarity Fangle 31 va and here is finally an update video! Oh my gosh, guys, I am so, 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 so sorry that this took as long as it did. Life's just been rather crazy, especially lately, which I'm sure it's affecting basically everyone who's watching this video. I'm not gonna mention it because it's, you know, pretty much everyone knows what I'm referring to, but that's beside the point. Here, I'm going to be explaining a few things, and yeah, this is also unscripted, so excuse the rambling if there is any. So let's first address the major question. Why have I not uploaded a video since my tier list video back in May of last year? Well, a lot's happened since then, to be frank with you. I did go in my summer and I was spending that time relaxing and things like that. I traveled to New Jersey to visit Dylan or Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything for his Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns podcast. Um, I was on the episode that they discussed, I believe it was 103? I might not remember the number, but it was the episode where I and Rabapi went on the cruise ship in Duel Queen. Which was a really cool episode to actually discuss. So, if you're interested in that, I will link that in the description, which also has a face reveal. So if you're into that thing, you can go check that out. Um, then I also went to New York to visit Spark, who you might know does a lot of the art stuff on this channel, is a really good friend of mine. I will also link his Twitter page down in the description, which I usually do because I usually use his assets in my videos, so I always credit him. He's gonna be opening up commissions again, so please, please, please go check him out too. And after, you know, when the fall semester ran around for school, my motivation kind of just dropped for fun things. Not that I didn't want to do stuff, but a lot of stuff behind the scenes and just a lot of stuff going on sort of just made it hard to want to make videos. I'm sure a lot of people can understand sometimes creative burnout happens and it does. It's a really real thing. And every attempt that I tried to make a new project just seemed to not work. And I really didn't want to have to fall back on, oh, let's just dub another ARC-5 manga chapter or something. Because while I really did enjoy dubbing the ARC-5 manga, and I'm very proud of the accomplishments of me and the Phantom crew, I am honestly done with dubbing that sort of thing. At least for the ARC-5 manga anyway. I still do love comic and manga dubbing, do not mistake that. I'm just sort of done with the ARC-5 manga for now. I think me and my team did about 10-ish chapters, or at least 10 scenes from 10 chapters, which I think is about maybe a fourth of the manga fully. Fourth, maybe? Fourth-ish? Because there's around 40, I think 45 chapters, so it's, it's, it's a semi-pretty good amount. I know we wanted to do more, but things changed. I'm glad I at least got to chub, um, dub, not chub, dub chapter 35, because that was a very important chapter in the manga's history, and I'm very happy I got to bring that to life for you all. Um, so that kind of segues, I guess, into, um, you might have remembered on my YouTube community page, which you definitely should follow that and, or, you know, check that also my Twitter. I'm much more active on Twitter. And, um, by the way, I also run the, um, No Context Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 account, where we post, um, random Arc 5 related content, like pictures, memes, videos, things like that, clips, on there. So if you want some Arc 5 goodness, anime and manga that you miss, Feel free to check that out and give me a follow on there. So, yeah, I've been much more active on that sort of thing. Um, no Context Archive has been a very good try to get back into swing of things. But speaking of community tab and things like that, you might have remembered um, last year, at the end of the year, where I was trying to help my friend Lunik, or It's a Showtimes, with um, their Yu-Gi-Oh! 2.0, on um, Brains 2.0, which was a fan comic in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains universe. And that project, the reason that kind of dipped down was number one, just lack of interest from people wanting to audition, but also because um, the artist and me, sort of our goals didn't really align. I still support the project completely. I'm really been enjoyed reading it. It's just that they wanted to just make it their own thing and not make it pressure to have to make into a project or anything like that. So, which I can completely understand. That kind of thing happens with creative content, which you should definitely go check it out. It's in the description as well. So that's where that went. In terms of older videos of mine, you might remember a thing called Kappa. That's why a lot of the MLP content that used to be on the channel when I first started this way back in like five or six years ago, that's why that is gone. Um, there's also some Sonic content that I used to do isn't there anymore just because it was for Kappa and also I don't think those videos really represent the kind of videos or things that I make now um, because I'm obviously a way different creator than I used to be back then. 
And I do love dubbing fan comics, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I want to go into a sort of a different direction, I guess, with that. So also just to make sure, because those, those are the comments, funny enough, those are the videos that I got the most interaction with. I don't want those people thinking, oh, hey, are you going to do more of that kind of stuff? No, I'm not. I'm not going back to MLP or Sonic probably anytime soon. I still would like to help out with people in both those franchises if they ever approached me and the project was good enough. I know I've helped plenty of my friends on Sonic comic dubs before at least. So there's that too. Now, what am I planning to do for the future? Well, honestly, that's still a bit of a mystery. There's only one confirmed video that I'm probably gonna be recording probably after this. And it is actually a mini dub of one of the parts of the Ruby DC comics, starring everyone's favorite ice queen, Weiss. Which some of you know that maybe like at the end, was it the end of 2018? Yeah, in 2018, I did a voice demo for Weiss, which a lot of you really seem to enjoy my take on the character. So I was like, you know, with everything that's going on, I have a little bit more free time and plenty of recording space now because I'm no longer in my dorm at college. So let's make the most of that. So that'll hopefully be up by the end of the month. That's my guess. It really just depends when I can get everything together. And I obviously don't want to rush anything because I am still kind of rusty of getting back into making videos in general. So I hope you can be understanding. And as to anything after that, honestly, I'm just gonna have to say stay tuned. I've always had YouTube as a hobby and always have uploaded stuff when I've wanted to. Maybe I'll get back into AMVs a bit more. I did make an AMV for somebody's birthday. I mean, someone for, not birthday, Christmas. I did make an AMV for one of my friend's Christmas, which was a full AMV of a song with a bunch of different anime in it. I might upload that at some point. I probably should, honestly, because it looks really good. And I'm very proud of it. So there's that too. So expect future content, at least that Weiss video, and there hopefully will be something in the works I can talk about eventually. And any of my voice actor friends, you know, my mutuals, anyone in the Phantom crew, if you ever want to collab on something, because we're all kind of, you know, stuck at home, at least most of us are, feel free to hit me up. I would love to work on stuff with people. And yeah, that's pretty much all the update I have to give you. And um, also just one more thing. Um, if Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens gets a manga, just like I said with OCT structures, I probably won't be reacting to it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, I plan to give it a shot. But it is definitely not in my high interest, most likely. Just not really a thing for me. It's clearly not targeted for me. And that's just my opinion. But I do plan on giving it a shot, and I hope the show is at least pretty good. Anyway, um, my motto is stays true now more than ever. Stay happy and healthy, everyone. Be safe out there. Make smart choices. And enjoy the time you get to spend with your family and friends um, during this hard time. And make sure to stay in contact with people. Make sure to, you know, play Animal Crossing. Yeah, Animal Crossing comes out. So, yeah, go play Animal Crossing. I know. I, I'm, I've, you see on my Twitter page, I'm a big Animal Crossing fan. I'm very excited for New Horizons. And if you follow me on Twitter, I will definitely be posting pictures and updates of my island. I'm going to be very excited to make it really cute and very fun. So, yeah. That's all I really have to say, guys. Just stay happy and healthy and bye! And hopefully more videos will be coming to your way soon.